It's midday, more snow in the south and high winds in the north. We'll have the latest from up and down the country. A standoff at an Oranga Tamariki facility comes to a peaceful end. What instigated the protest? And another record-breaking run for Zoe Hobbs in Europe with the Olympics now within reach. Good afternoon, Minister Kitty Allen is away from Parliament again, back on mental health leave following a relationship breakup. It's on the back of concerns raised by a public services. One medical professor is warning New Zealand needs to address the elephant in the room with big holes in the health sector. The government has announced 830 extra clinical placements for nursing students to help boost the workforce. Auckland University's Des Gorman says that will increase the student nursing population by 10%. But it's uh, not addressing the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is how we keep nursing students. Struck one entire hurricane to look, if not to fly, like this, as once they did in the skies over Ukraine. Still to come on midday, Tom Cruise hits Sydney as fans take on the mission to catch a glimpse. Plus, why the MCC had to apologise after the second test at Lords. Welcome back. If you're looking to sell your home, now's a good time to list. The latest report from realestate.co.nz shows housing stock for June was the lowest on record while demand is higher than normal. Vanessa Williams says we're likely to see an influx of supply in the warmer months. We've got suppressed supply happening. We've had one of the slowest autumns on record. So property's a little bit like a dam, Maddie. It is going to, you know, it will hold up for a while, but eventually it does need to flow through. The national average asking price is stable at almost $860,000. There are conflicting reports over the health of South Africa's Zulu king amid fears he had been poisoned. Following the sudden death of a close advisor, Mizu Zulu Zulu was admitted to hospital in neighbouring Eswatini. A spokesperson for the king has denied suggestions he was unwell but had instead undergone precautionary tests after suspicion the advisor had been poisoned. The king ascended the throne last year despite a bitter family feud. Sydney has been buzzing with Tom Cruise in town promoting the latest instalment in the Mission Impossible franchise. Nine's Mike Dalton chose to accept the mission to catch a glimpse of the Hollywood star. We'll do sport now and Zoe Hobbs has met the Olympic qualifying standard for the women's 100 metres at a meet in Switzerland, the first New Zealand female sprinter to ever do so. The 25-year-old hit the target in the... Well, in the ashes, indisputably, Australia 2, Australia England 0. We'll still have to come on midday. I'll be back with your afternoon weather. Welcome back. Time now to take a look at today's weather. And that is all for midday. Thanks for joining us and have a great afternoon.